Hello, Bright Minds. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers, your go-to place for exciting learning adventures. Today, we are diving deep into the captivating realms of matter and energy. Let's start our exploration by unraveling the mystery of matter. What exactly is matter? Well, matter is everything around us, from the books on your shelf to the air you breathe. To make it more exciting, let's take a closer look at some real-life examples of matter. But wait, there's more to matter than meets the eye. As you learned in the previous grade it comes in different forms called states. There are three main states, solids, liquids, and gases. Prepare to be amazed. Let's recap the definition of matter. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. We can see, touch, smell, taste, and hear matter. Some examples of matter are air, water, rocks, trees, and even your own body. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Some examples of energy are heat, light, sound, and electricity. Energy is the powerhouse that makes things happen. It's the force that propels our toys, illuminates our lights, and powers our bodies as we run and play. How are matter and energy related? Matter and energy are always changing. For example, when you turn on a light switch, electrical energy is converted into light energy. When you eat food, the chemical energy in the food is converted into mechanical energy, which helps you move. Matter can change states while energy can change forms. Matter can change states from solid to liquid to gas, and vice versa. For example, when you heat ice, it melts and turns into water. When you heat water, it boils and turns into steam. Energy can be converted from one form to another. For example, when you ride a bike, you're converting chemical energy in your body into mechanical energy. Examples of matter and energy in action. Here are some examples of matter and energy in action. When you rub two sticks together, they heat up. This is because you're converting mechanical energy into heat energy. When you plant a seed, it grows into a plant. This is because the seed has stored chemical energy, which it uses to grow. When you turn on a TV, it uses electrical energy to create images and sounds. When you play on the swings, you're using gravitational energy to swing higher and higher. Why are matter and energy important? Matter and energy are essential for life. We need matter to build our bodies and to create the things we use every day. We need energy to move, to grow, and to power our homes and businesses. Wow, what an incredible journey into the realms of matter and energy. From the solids that hold their ground, to the liquids that flow, and the invisible dance of gases, to the powerful forces of light and sound energy, our world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary exploration. If you enjoyed this adventure, give us a big thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more thrilling learning journeys.